Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 12th, 2020. So today we have Ruby. Now Ruby is a love crystal. I love pointing that out. <laughs> I just do uh, because <laughs> I love Ruby. I, I think Ruby, I, I love it when I hold it, um, when I wear it. I have beautiful connections with other people like perfect strangers. I end up having very deep and profound conversations that stick with me forever, you know, kind of thing. So <laughs> if you have some Ruby, get it on out and wear it. As a matter of fact, I have a Ruby ring. I'm going to pull that out here in a little bit and wear it. So this says rejuvenate your body. The number is eight. Now, I believe yesterday... Didn't we have, the number was 26, I don't remember. But uh, there's another eight. You are an infinite being. You are an abundant being. And we've been taught for so long in manifesting, we're gonna get back to the rejuvenate your body part of this here too, but we've been taught for so long that manifesting has to do with plotting and planning and contriving an existence that only we can imagine from our limited perspective. But when we reconnect with our bodies, integrate the spiritual and the physical, and we come into that heart, and we start manifesting from that place, now it doesn't drain your energy. It's not something that you have to check off your list every day to stare at your vision board. And people get so defensive about their vision boards. Calm down. I know it took you a minute to sit there and cut through all those magazines and glue stick them to a poster board. I know. <laughs> I've done it, okay? I know what kind of work goes into that. I guess I might have gotten defensive about my vision boards in the past. But like, what I'm getting at here is making sure that you don't just stop with the mental, but you come into the heart. Feel it. What really might be for the highest good of everyone involved? What really matters? What are the priorities? Okay? I know, I'll share this with you. Part of me rejuvenating my body was realizing that if I want to get everything done, I can get a little rigid. <laughs> I can get a little rigid in how I do things and I start to get very easily irritated when my, uh, my goals for the day get interrupted. And sometimes it's interrupted by somebody else, you know, like um, unannounced construction. That just feels like an injustice. And it's like, err, you know, but... <sighs> What, what can I really do? Is it really worth it draining me and getting upset? No, it's really not. And I, they'll leave at six and I can sit down at six o'clock and get back to what I was doing. So this is kind of, you know, this is part of that rejuvenating your body. Like what kind of energy are you putting into manifesting? Is it draining? What kind of energy are you putting into your day to day? when life has its ups and downs, which it's designed to have, right? I know when life has ups and downs, I'm like, I can't believe it. Who ordered this? Like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> which is silly, right? <laughs> so how much can we go with the flow and de-stress? This is a very important message right now because a lot of people are stressed about money, about their health, um, about their relationship dynamics and having to release an old lifestyle and having to figure out what the future looks like. But remember, Ruby is about love. And if you stay in that frequency of love, if you let that emanate around you, you'll be able to carry forward just fine. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.